Hey guys and welcome to video 7 I think it is of the two seasons title challenge um, the last time out you saw us uh, beat Angie 1-0 away in the Europa League um, we followed that up with a 5-2 win over the uh, mighty Martimo goals from Gelson Fernandez. Carrillo, uh, Van Wolfwinkel, uh, and Wijnaldum and Sagbo there. Uh, we then followed that up with a 3 and, uh, 1 win over Braga. Van Wolfwinkel, Wijnaldum, and the Beast of Bebe uh, scoring there. Before a 1 all draw at home to Angie, uh, Van Wolfwinkel with a goal there, which is followed up by um, a 1 all draw in the league. Uh, Andy Carroll with a goal there. Um, I would just like to say that those were the first two games we haven't won this season which is an amazing achievement um, we still haven't lost as you can see but um, I think the teams are starting to sort of suss us out so I'm having to rotate a lot more uh, and stuff like that except for these games here you'll see these here in a moment but um, yeah so we then went on and beat Olhanese or Olhanese however you say it 2-0 thanks to uh, Ricky Van Walswinkle um, then I'm just going to quickly go and show you this before I show you the results I got a message off of um, a tweeter called Godders here's Godders' uh, profile if you um, don't know him already he um, is a Spurs fan uh, he likes Ajax and Barcelona as well all three known for playing really decent football at the minute so um, he came to me and he said to me well he messaged me and said to me have you ever thought about doing a, a kind of a total football um, formation based on the Ajax team of 71 72 uh, inspired by uh, Michels and Kovacs um, uh, so I said to him well I'll give it a go I'll have a look and um, that's exactly what I've done guys basically I've um, I've gone and had a look at, at what they did the way they played and I've popped a little tactic together so yeah here's the tactic guys um, it's a as I've called it um, in my description the uh, total football 1-3-3-3 formation um, it, it, Possession wise, you know, you get a lot of possession, about 60 40 most of the time. Uh, some games I've had 80 odd um, percent possession and 70 odd percent possession, but it's normally around the 60s. So, possession wise, you know, you don't have overly huge amounts of possession. But um, basically, as you can see here, we've gone for a very fluid style uh, and overload strategy. Now, We've gone with the um, striker as a tranquilista, uh, a defensive forward, and a poacher. Uh, these two positions swap over during the game. Um, we've then gone for two defensive playmakers and an attacking playmaker. The two defensive playmakers swap over. Two ball playing defenders who swap over, and one limited defender and a Liberio who um, when we're going to attack pushes up into midfield uh, where are we sorry oh for god's sake this thing does me in sometimes we have then um, as you can see here we are short passing creative free um, freedom closing down more uh, defensive line the first uh, just before look push up it's the one normal width of 15 and quick of 19 uh, and the playmaker is the Chocolista up here um, and obviously I've allowed them to do more roaming as well so back to the fixtures guys just have a look and um, where were we so yeah these were the games where I tried it out since here I've tried it out so as you can see we've won 6-0, 5-0, 4-0, 3-0, 2-1 and drew 1-0 so the first game 
this is the most interesting thing for me is Andy Carroll who's playing the defensive forward line is absolutely raking in the goals with this new tactic uh, as you see he's scored four there and Vol uh, Van Wolfswinkel and Carrillo got that one then in the next match when Eldon got two Carroll got one and two for Sagbo then in this match uh, Elias got one and Wolfinkel got two in this one Andy Carroll got one and Bebe got one and against Whistler it was an own goal by the looks of things I don't remember that but it was a one it was an own goal so those are the fixtures guys um, so far <coughs> excuse me so I'm just going to show you the goals from the uh, Naval game in the cup guys just so you can see the uh, passing movement at its uh, at its best what, I'm, what I might try, I'm going to try and show you the goals in 3D so you can appreciate it a bit more so yeah here's the first one guys uh, sad a beautiful ball over the top Van Walsfinkel takes it down sends it over, Carroll heads the ball but Sago is running into the space with the follow up there and that's an important thing it, it, with the shouts that I'll show you in a minute um, I've set up the shouts as well but Fernandez with the ball oh, sorry about that lad guys but the ball comes down and Sabbo's there it's I know doing it in 3D is not brilliant so I apologise for the lag on it guys but it's sometimes better to see uh, the way the ball's getting knocked around oh come on and then you see Wolfswinkel knocked it on there Carroll ran into the space sends it over when Aldum's in there and he bangs it over for 3 And then from the kickoff, we come forward, Carico, Fernandez. Um, a, a lot of those chip balls in. Look at that, a beautiful goal. They did, a lot of those balls where they chip the ball through and chip it over to the other players has come into play. And then the last one was a penalty. But you got kind of a little look there at, um, at the uh, formation and how well it goes. So I was going to show you the uh, Porto game which would have been here but because of the uh, League Cup we've, that game's been pushed back to a bit further down the season uh, but yeah all the way back to there um, so I'm going to show you the Vit Suitable game uh, at home in the Cup uh, and then I'll probably do another one around either the second leg against Udinese or the Porto game because that will be our big challenge. Benfica is a big challenge, but Porto are our main rivals, as I will just quickly show you. You see, well, I mean, we've got a six point gap, they've got a game in hand. And remember, I was 10 points clear at this point with Marseille and only just won the title last season. So it's going to be interesting to see how the further in competitions we go, how the squad. Uh, deals with it so I'm just going to go to the game guys um, and then I'll show you the shouts as well that we use with the tactic so here we are then guys game day um, I'm just going to check this is set up for pop the goals on highlights yep so they've gone for the same formation I used at Marseille um, one thing I noticed the old formation I was using the 4-2-3-1 um, formation this formation did struggle to break it down so uh, that was again that I lost uh, that I won sorry 2-1 um, so I still won but it was just a bit more difficult to break down so it'd be interesting to see how we do against this sort of formation um, <clears throat> in this uh, in this next game so I'm just going to get in there and do this bit and I'm going to let you do the second bit so You'll see here you've got the shouts thing at the top. I've saved this shout as total football. So I'll just click on that and I'll show you what we've got. So we've got retain possession, pass into space, play out of defence, hit early crosses, work the ball into the box, exploit the flanks, uh, and that's it, guys. Um, so I'm probably going to tinker around with those because um, I know the passing space and retain possession thing don't normally work well together but it seems to work quite well at the moment so um, let's go into the game and see how we get on so here we are in the mighty arena knocking the ball around well already as you see um, 
corner Rojo sends it in oh yeah oh finally Carroll had got that then he's heading it straight into the hands of the goalkeeper as you can see at the minute 81 to 19 possession um, obviously that'll fluctuate throughout the game like I say very often you go out about 60% possession with this this formation uh, and these styles of uh, this style of play which isn't dominating but the football that you play is, is really good you play some really good stuff Ooh. probably going to play really crap now it's not going to work very well now that I'm recording it it normally happens to me in live games go on Ricky go on that's it go on brilliant oh get in oh he's offside <laughs> But as you can see, what well, I mean, the players exploit, uh, exploit, exploit the um, the spaces. Uh, sorry, guys, my chair cracking a bit there. Oh, I've got one of those office chairs, and sometimes when you move on it, the metal clunks together. It's a bit annoying, really. Um, but yeah, you know, they they exploit the um, spaces very well. I think. And you see, they're always looking for somebody in space. That's the the best thing as well. And the players are always looking to find space. Oh, look at that! Oh, that was unlucky. Very unlucky. You have a lot of shots, um, but it's just we don't get many on target at the minute. We haven't got anybody you can really bang them in on target. Looks like we're going to go into half time at nil nil. That's a bit disappointing for you guys. A bit boring, really. Might have to give them a kick up the backside, get them working better. Uh, that's da -da -da. No, not aggressively, assertive. I'm not happy with your performance, you vile beasts. Let's see if that gives them the kick up the jacksy that they need to get the win in this cup game. Um, we've conceded two in the last two um, and only scored three. Um, which is might be a sign that teams are figuring it out how to play against us I don't know or that we're not playing well as a unit or the right players aren't in the, the formation I know we've had a lot of injuries and a lot of tired players so it could be that as well oh Sagbo oh how did you miss that how did you miss that oh frustrating but them's the breaks as you can see he was on the opposite side to what he started the game him and Van Wolfswinkel swap places Fernandes and Elias swap places, uh, swap places and Karika and Rojo swap places so um, yeah let's make a substitution on uh, Carrillo you can come on for Sabbo because you missed that sitter and I'm going to bring the mighty superfluous Bebe on for Rip Van Winkle as I call him and we'll leave it at that for now <clears throat> might throw another one on towards the end just to freshen things up a bit but this has been really boring for you guys and I've got a feeling it's going to be a nil nil and it's not a great advert for this new formation at all look at the passes that Elias has made 114 and 95 completed Carol Fernandez Kenny Cool Rico, Fernandez, Ronaldo, Melia, Santos, Bebe, goal! That, my friends, is decent football. And like I say, he scores when he wants. He is Bebe. He scores when he wants. Look at that. Pow. He loves a goal for me. I, I just, I don't know how I manage it. People say um, I'm smack or something when I say Bebe's a brilliant player he is for me now that wasn't a great game to watch and it wasn't a great advert for the formation but we won all the same um, let's just tell them that we got away with that which we did so hopefully the next video will demonstrate the formation better I mean obviously possession wise we dominated they only had one shot it wasn't on target we just couldn't hit the back of the net today which is a bit of a, a bummer um, but you know 
it, it's taking I think certain teams and st certain styles that come up against this formation um, kind of figure it out a bit but we'll keep working with it and we'll see where we go so thanks for watching guys and I shall see you around about the Udinese or Porto game uh, like and subscribe and always leave comments guys I really appreciate the comments uh, drop us a follow on Twitter if you don't already thank you very much guys <laughs>